According to a study published in the journal Science on April 18th, researchers from several universities in China have measured land subsidence in cities with a population of over 2 million people in China from 2015 to 2022. Nearly half of the 82 surveyed cities, where 270 million people, 29% of the country's population, live, are subsiding at more than 3 millimeters per year. Additionally, about 16% of urban land is subsiding at a rate exceeding 10 millimeters per year, with the area where 67 million people live sinking rapidly. Various factors, including geology and the weight of buildings, influence the degree of land subsidence. As the city's weight increases and heavy buildings press down on the ground, the natural ground will be compressed over time, causing subsidence. The cities of Shanghai and Tianjin began to show signs of sinking from the 1920s. Shanghai has sunk more than 3 meters over the past century. In recent decades, other rapidly expanding cities in China have also shown signs of widespread subsidence. However, the authors of this study state that the main factor causing land subsidence is the loss of groundwater. Widespread groundwater extraction is one of the main reasons. Cities are withdrawing water from groundwater aquifers faster than they can replenish, a situation that has become more serious due to droughts. Excessive groundwater withdrawal can lower the water table and cause the land above to sink. Professor Robert Nichols of the University of East Anglia in England who was not involved in the study, stated, Geologically, China has many people living in newly settled areas, so when you withdraw groundwater, they will sink. Other factors such as urban transport systems and mineral and coal mining also affect land subsidence. In the northern region of the Binden Mountains, one of the largest coal areas in China, land is sinking at a rate of 109 millimeters per year. In 2020, about 6% of China's land area was relatively low-lying compared to sea level. In the next 100 years, this figure could increase to 26%. These areas will suffer significant damage, and human lives will be at risk. Researchers say that the rate of land sinking is faster than the rate of rising sea levels, and when these two factors combine, they will endanger hundreds of millions of people due to flooding.